If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn JMeter series. In this episode, we are going to see how you can deploy JPET store so that you can learn the performance testing concepts. To learn performance testing and engineering concepts, you need to make use of a demo application. Without demo application, it is very tough to learn the concepts. You can deploy it either locally or to the cloud. I have already compiled the list of open source demo applications and also the publicly facing applications in this repository. Please check it out. To deploy on your own, you need to have the knowledge about the developer ecosystem such as NPM, Docker, Kubernetes, Flask, etc. And I have come up with a variety of applications from easy to complex. So please check in this repository. And also there are various publicly facing applications are there. Using that, you can just record and playback. You cannot do more than that. You cannot inject more load because they are giving it for demo purpose. It's not for your uh, injecting the load purpose. You might be violating the terms. Your IP might be get banned or you will face the consequences. So do not inject any load to the publicly available uh, websites. So one of the best application to learn for performance testing is JPET Store. So JPET Store is a demo application which is built on top of uh, MyBatis 3 Springfly on Stripes. Uh, you can check it out at uh, this link. So this particular uh, repository is uh, not dockerized. So I have dockerized it and then I have published it in my uh, Docker Hub. So if you run uh, docker run hyphen p the port number and QA insights slash JPET Store, you can run the JPET Store locally. But in this demo, we are going to make use of cloud. We are going to deploy the JPET store in Octeto. So Octeto is a platform where you can spin up multiple developer environments in the cloud. So we are going to leverage my Docker image and then we are going to put it in the Octeto. First, you need to clone the repository, which is QA Insights slash JPET store hyphen Docker. And then we are going to create a namespace and then we are going to deploy it in the Octeto cloud. Now it's time for a quick demo. Let us see how you can deploy JPET store in Octeto cloud. Just go to octeto.com and sign up for a free account. If you just scroll down, you can see the more information about how Octeto works, the workflow and other details. And if you click on pricing, there is a free tier, a developer tier, which is free. So this is suffice for our learning purpose. So just to click on login and sign up with your uh, GitHub account. So now I successfully logged in. So here, as you see, I'm already running some uh, demo JPET store here. So what I'm going to do is let me click on destroy. Let us uh, start over. Very first step is you need to create a namespace. So if you just click on the namespace, you can just click on this plus icon and create a new namespace. Here I already created the uh, QA Insights namespace. So I'm going to use this namespace to deploy the application. Next step is you need to click on the launch dev environment. Just click on launch dev environment. And here you can launch your environment from various places. One is using the CLI. You can use it from your repository or Git URL or Helm catalog. So in this case, I'm going to use my GitHub. For the very first time, you need to configure your GitHub. So just click on this link to follow the instructions. Since I already configured, I'm given the access to these four repositories. So here, if you see a JPET store hyphen Docker, just uh, select the appropriate repository and click on launch. That's it. Rest everything will be taken care by Octeto because it clones the repository. It will create the relevant context. It will create uh, the relevant uh, Kubernetes objects and then it will give you the load balanced URL. And here at the top, you can see it spins up only one pod and you can spin up up to 10 pods in the free tier and then you can use storage up to 5 GB. So this is for uh, per namespace. And then there is a limitation within the namespace also. I think it is five. Uh, you can just check it out. Now let us see the uh, log status. So just click on the uh, JPEG store deployment. And here, if you just scroll down, you can see the Docker image uh, is uh, getting uh, uh, built. And then uh, it will uh, start the container. And then at the end, uh, you will see uh, the Tomcat uh, 9.x is starting. And after a few moments, you will get the uh, endpoint. So basically, we already got the endpoint here. This is our endpoint, jpet store qa insightscloudoctetonet Now, as you see here, it has already started successfully in the port 8080. Now, let us launch this URL by clicking on the endpoint. And here, you are getting error code 503. That is fine. It is taking some time to spin up the service. Totally okay. 
Now let us add our uh, URI JPEG store and hit enter. And let us wait for a few moments and then let us refresh the page again. Now as you see, the application has been loaded successfully. So now if you click on enter the store, you can see the JPEG store homepage. For the very first time, it will take some time, but eventually uh, it will get loaded fast. So now using this application, you can learn your uh, concepts either uh, in JMeter or NeoLoad or any other tool. Now, if you go to your Octeto, as you see, the log is getting generated here. And you can also monitor the uh, pod memory here and also the CPU. If you put more load, again, this memory and the CPU will throttle. But I prefer do not inject more load here. Just to learn the concept, you can put some 5 or 10 with a relevant think time. But I suggest do not put more load. Since we are using some free tier, uh, we should not violate the terms. So that's it guys on my side. If you have any questions, please type in the comments. And thank you for watching. Have a good day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.